Bluegrass Pride's Waste Buster program is dedicated to teaching students the importance of recycling and waste reduction. Recycling is the recovery of useful materials in order to create new products, thus reducing the amount of raw material in our waste system. Recyclable items can then be resold for profit, creating a closed loop system, a three-part process, one, recycling our waste, two, making a new product, and three, purchasing said new product. Of all the recyclable items, paper is the largest commodity in our school's waste stream. This includes newspaper, copy paper, notebook paper, post-it notes, colorful paper, but not laminated or overly glossy paper. Unfortunately, enough paper is thrown away into our waste system, non-recyclable materials, to make a 12-foot wall from New York to California. Interestingly, not everything that has a recycle symbol can be recycled in Lexington. For example, plastic jugs and bottles can be recycled, but their lids cannot and need to be thrown away. Other items that can't be recycled in Lexington are plastic baggies, pencils, and yogurt containers. Tragically, much of our plastic isn't recycled or doesn't get disposed of properly. In fact, every year, nearly one million sea creatures are killed by plastic bags or other plastic garbage thrown into the ocean. Have you ever heard of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch? It's about twice the size of Texas and it's somewhere between San Francisco and Hawaii. It's 80% plastic and it weighs in at about 3.5 million tons. Aluminum is a sustainable metal that can be recycled over and over again. A recycled can is usually turned back into a can and back on the store shelves within 60 days. Cardboard is also recyclable but must be broken down to conserve space in our recycling bins. And finally, just because we don't typically use glass at school doesn't mean it's not recyclable. So remember to recycle all of your glass products. Utilizing nature's natural recycling system is called composting. Composting is when you take organic waste such as yard trimmings, or food scraps and put it in conditions that can break it down. The result of composting is natural fertilizer. Vermicomposting is the practice of using worms to turn your organic waste into nutrient-rich fertilizer. It is a great fit for classroom composting and the study of decomposition. Approximately 25% of what is thrown away can be composted. Recycling and composting combined prevented the disposal of 85.1 million tons of material in 2010, up from just 15 tons of material in 1980. This prevented the release of approximately 186 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the air in 2010, the equivalent of keeping 36 million cars off the road for a year. For more information, simply Google BG Pride Waste Busters and you'll be well on your way to an effective recycling and waste reduction program. We marvel of shoe the hazen way to see the logos do on board. Hogumer linear bring and throw.